Regulations and Customs in the Philippines Imports generally enjoy a liberalized regime. However, imports of certain products are regulated and sometimes forbidden in accordance with the current laws for reasons of health, national security, or international requirements, or in order to, to protect the development of local industries. Non-tariff barriers Imports are currently classified into three categories according to the degree of resurrections they are subject to. Freely imported products, regulated and forbidden products. For regulated products, an import license is necessary which can be obtained by applying to the authorities concerned. So regulated products or regulated importations, it is a goods which are subject to regulation shall be imported or exported only after securing the necessary goods declaration, clearances, licenses, and any other requirements prior to importation. So example is certain food stops or pharmaceutical products requirements, the authorization of food and drugs authority. So the third category comprises products which is forbidden to import such as explosives, firearms, and war weapons, precious metals, narcotics, drugs, and coffee. So forbidden importation or prohibited goods are those goods for which importation and exportation have been completely banned for reasons linked to health, environment, protections, or endangered species of flora and fauna, security, legislation, and so on and so forth. Customs Classifications The Philippine Customs System is based on the Standard International Trade Classification or SITC of the United Nations. Duties are usually calculated at Valorem and specified in the Philippine Customs Code. There is a program of reduction and simplification of the duties in conformity with the liberation policy of the Philippine government. A custom system which will classify imported products into only two categories. Raw materials and finished products. For these categories, Fixed rates of respectively 3% and 10% duty will be applied. For the calculation of import duties, the Philippines currently use the system of value base on the price of domestic consumption. The Philippine government has a contract with the services of SGS a Swiss company providing inspection and valuation of imported goods with value higher than 500 USD so to avoid any over-invoicing or under-invoicing. Import Procedures All imported articles invite import taxes even those having been previously exported except special mention in the Tariff and Customs Code or another regulations. The entry form must be filled in at the Customs Office and the 30 days following the unloading of the last package, filling to do which amounts to abandonment of the goods and ipso facto confiscation of the cargo.
the importation of certain commodities is regulated or prohibited. Imports are classified as follows. Freely importable commodities. Freely importable commodities are commodities which importation may be effective without the prior approval or clearance from any government agency. Regulated commodities. Regulated importation and exportation. Goods which are subject to regular shall be imported or exported only after securing the necessary goods declaration, clearances, licenses, and any other requirements prior to importations. Prohibited or banned commodities are generally those not allowed to be brought into the country except when given permission under high controlled condition as provided for in the laws prohibiting them. The importation status of any commodity, whether prohibited, regulated, or freely importable, may be checked are verified with the Bureau of Customs or the VOC, the Bureau of Import Services or BIS, of the Department of Trade and Industry or the DTI, the Department of Agriculture or the DE, may verify the importation status of agricultural products as well indicated whether a minimum access volume or MOB, import certificate is required such as for the important the importation of swine, chicken, and so on and so forth. Import documents required for shipments to the Philippines includes Commercial Invoice or Proforma Invoice The Commercial Invoice is the primary document Customs uses to a certain classification, valuation, and ultimately duty payments on, on each imported shipment. Bill leading for sea freight or airway bill for air freight. This is a legal document issued by a carrier to a shipper that details the type, the quantity, and the destination of the goods being carried. A bill of lading also serves as a shipment receipt when the courier delivers the goods at a predetermined destination. Certificate of Origin if requested A Certificate of Origin Declaration of Original is a document widely used in international trade transaction which attests that the product listed therein has met certain criteria to be considered as originating in a particular country. Packing List A packing list is a document that includes details about the contents of a package. The packing list is intended to let transport agencies, government, authorities, and customers know the contents of the package. These details help each of the parties handle the package accordingly. Special certificates or import clearance are permit depending on the nature of goods being shipped and are requested by the imported bank. And that's all for this video. If you have any questions regarding on how to import in the Philippines, you can comment down below so that in my next video i can answer all all your questions and that's all thank you